These two former classmates at Myers Park High School look nothing alike, but they have the same last name. For years, they never really thought anything about it until one email opened the door to their family's history. It connected them in a way they never could have imagined. Our Deshaun Brown has more on their life-changing discovery. I mean, we were sort of a powerhouse, but when Jimmy showed up, it was like uh, Jim Brown had decided to come play for Mars Park, and uh, he lit it up. These are the snapshots that showcase an All-American, and one who nearly broke as many tackles as he did barriers. Yeah, I know about Jimmy through the newspaper. He was well known as an athlete, even though he didn't get much coverage in white newspapers, but uh, he, he, was, he had a... a, a a pretty star reputation. So this is Dee Kirkpatrick, Park. former classmates with Jimmy Lee Kirkpatrick at Myers Park High School. We, we would see each other in the hall and acknowledge we had the same last name. Hey, cuz, how's it going? But that was about it. But in 1965, Myers Park was also the very school and football team Jimmy helped desegregate. So it was uh, obviously a um, big decision for a 15 year old, 16 year old to make. But at the same time, um, I um, wanted to uh, be challenged. In his senior season and only at Myers Park, Jimmy Lee Kirkpatrick scored 19 touchdowns. He was often one of the only black athletes on the high school football field, but awarded the best player in the city of Charlotte. I felt that I had accomplished what I had set out originally to accomplish at Myers Park to personally. Uh, but I certainly realized that the controversy that surrounded it. The controversy first began to simmer when the city's best player was snubbed from the state's all-star game. That year, two of his white teammates made the roster. The tension boiled over by way of a lawsuit challenging the decision to exclude Kirkpatrick and escalated even more when Julius Chambers, the lawyer who brought the suit, suffered fire bombings at his law office and home. It was very upsetting for me, and that's when uh, I became very aware of the uh, uh, racist issues. The two classmates rarely interacted in high school, and not at all for 50 years. But Jimmy's story lingered until writers from the Charlotte Observer brought it back to the forefront. D. Kirkpatrick read those stories, when he reached out to one of the writers to reconnect with Jimmy, and his email included his first two initials, HD. Jimmy called me after the email got to him, and that's when he asked me what the H stands for, and I said Hugh, and then he tells me that, oh yeah, I know a lot about your family. Traced my family back through the farm out in Morris Park area, Sharon, started to visit white churches, starting to see these Kirkpatrick names. And he went on to say that he had, through his own research, discovered that his great-great-great-grandfather, Sam Kirkpatrick, had been owned by a white Kirkpatrick named Hugh. And I'm like, that it may be my great-great-grandfather. And, sure and sure enough, it was. So my family, uh, never mentioned any kind of uh, connection to uh, slavery. And so this was a, su a surprise to me. I look at it as a journey, and it's, a, it's been a journey of discovery. Uh, our ancestral linkage and a family tree, which So I here think, they uh, are now, was in, literally charting the uh, path California, through their family's history a and in, a path forward. Um, their journey together, also the focus of an upcoming documentary. Um, a story of race, truth, of the, of the and family. healing. We were very skeptical about this in terms of um, making this public. We didn't know how our families uh, would respond, how the community would respond. He had uh, some righteous reasons to be angry, and he wasn't. Uh, he was curious. He was compassionate. We, you know, we finally realized that um, our message, some, you know, messages and experiences sometimes can be more important than your own fears. From a, a race relations perspective, I, you know, it's as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. 
really. That's our Deshaun Brown reporting. Now, because of their journey, D. Kirkpatrick told us that he spent the past few years researching Southern slavery, and he just wrote a book about the psychology of Southern slave masters and the legacy of white supremacy.